Hello everyone, this time we will review the rules of inference. Please don't forget to subscribe on my channel. We have here some ways that we are going to use in order to identify if the, the rules of inferences. We have here the rules of inferences that we are going to use. Uh, you are going to memorize this one. So that it's very easy to prove the inferences if the argument is valid or not. So we have here first is modus ponens. What is modus ponens? So we have here the given uh, premises and the conclusion with the respective conclusion. For modus ponens, we have P implies Q. P, therefore Q. Three dots here represents conclusion. That's modus ponens. Next, modus tollens. P implies Q. Negation of Q. Therefore, negation of P. It's modus tollens. We have next, hypothetical syllogism. P implies Q. We still have another third statement here, R. Q implies R. Therefore, the conclusion P implies R. The inner, the outer rather. P implies R is the conclusion. P implies Q, Q implies R, therefore P implies R. That's the disjunctive syllogism, DS. P or Q, negation of P, therefore Q. P or Q, negation of P, therefore Q. So we have so far four. Next, we have this constructive dilemma, CD. We have... A conditional statement, P implies Q, quantity P implies Q, and R implies another statement, S. And you have there P or R, P or R, therefore Q or S. We have destructive dilemma, DD. The quantity P implies Q and R, the quantity R implies S. You have the negation of Q or the negation of S. Therefore, the negation of P or the negation of R. Again, destructive dilemma. The quantity P implies Q and the quantity R implies S. If you have negation of Q or negation of S, therefore, negation of P or negation of R. Next, we have simplification. This is a very simple one. P and P and Q, therefore P. Very simple rule of, rules of inferences. Conjunction. You have P and then you have Q and then you can combine the conclusion P and Q. P, Q, therefore P and Q. And you, have, you can have also addition. Just a given statement. And then your conclusion. So you have P. And the conclusion is P or Q. Again, for addition, P, then therefore P and Q. Ponens, modus tollens, hypothetical syllogism, disjunctive syllogism, constructive dilemma, destructive dilemma, simplification, conjunction, and addition. So we have here the statement form. You speak to represent, you have a current password and you to represent, you can log on to the network. You have a current network, you can log on to the network. So the argument here, P implies Q, P therefore Q. This is a modus ponens. Remember, P implies Q, P therefore Q. So we have a valid argument in a propositional logic. If you have a current password, then you can log on to the network. Then you have a current password. Therefore, you can log on to the network. So we have here an example. State the rule of inferences by which the, con the conclusion follows from the given hypothesis. So for example, we A if and only if B. And this is N. You have C or D. And the state, second statement and the conclusion rather A 
if and only if B. So state the rule of inference. So like this, you can identify this one as P and then this is Q and then you have the conclusion. So what rule of inference is here? Okay. We have there P and Q, therefore P. Remember? P, this is equivalent to P and Q, therefore P. So therefore this is what? Simplification. Simplification. So it's very easy to it's very easy to identify if you have the rule of inferences. Just simply find a pattern, identify what rule of inferences are stated or illustrated in the given symbolic form. This type I'm not sure. A implies the quantity B and C. Okay, this one. Then I have, therefore, the quantity of A implies B and C. Uh, or, C or E. So if you have like this, just simply identify this is your whole P. It's your P and then you have your OR. So you will go back to the row of inferences we have here for addition. P and the, we have OR in the conclusion. Okay, so that's why for number two, this is now, this is addition. This is addition. Why? You have P. Then the conclusion, therefore, P or whatever is your Q. Example, you have to supply. That's supply. Supply a valid conclusion for the given set of bridge sets. Supply B. And then implies C and D. C and D. Then you have there negation of C and D. So the conclusion. You have P implies Q. Negation of Q. What's that? You have there. P implies Q. This one. Negation of Q, therefore negation of P. So that's modus, modus ponens. So in this example, the conclusion here is the negation of your P, which is A implies negation of A implies B. This is your P, remember? P and this is your Q. Negation of your P, therefore negation of your Q. And this is by modus, modus tollen or MT. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and watch my other math tutorials.